Hey what's happening guys welcome to your 16th Django tutorial and in this video we're going to construct our article detail page. Okay then so now we have our URLs all hooked up so that when we click on an individual blog title it takes us to this new URL and that's the slug right there then it takes that slug and it returns it to the browser so that's all handled in the view over here for article detail so we're receiving this slug from the URL right here, then we're sending that back to the browser. Now, instead of that, ideally what we'd like to do is query the database to find an article based on this slug. Remember, when we create an article, we give it a slug right here, which is the URL. So what we can do is query the database to find a particular article with that slug. And if it exists, we grab it and we send that back to a template to display that particular article instead of just sending back the slug. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So first of all, let's comment out this dude and underneath, instead what we'd like to do is query the database and get an article. So we'll store that in a variable called article. We'll set it equal to article, which is the model class. Remember we imported right here. Then we say dot objects dot get to get a particular object. And we can pass in a parameter here to say what we want to base this find, if you like, on. So we want to base it on the slug. So we'll say, well, the slug parameter has to equal the slug that we get right here. So now it's going to look for this article in the database, return it to us and store it right here. So now we have that, we can render a template and send that data to the template. So let's say return and it's render to render a template. And inside the first parameter is always request. Then it's the template that we want to render. Now we've not created this yet, but it's gonna be in the articles folder right here. Then we'll call it article underscore detail dot HTML. Okay, so the third parameter is the data we want to send to this particular template. So that is a dictionary and I'll attach a property called article to it. You can call this whatever you want. It makes sense since we're sending an article down and I'm gonna set that equal to the article that we just retrieved right here. So now we're taking that, sending it to this template so that we can output it in the browser. So that's our view taken care of. Now what we'd like to do is create this template. So new file and call this article underscore detail dot HTML. All right, so the first thing we want to do is extend the base layout. Remember, the base layout was this dude over here with the head and the closing body tag, etc. all that stuff. We want to inherit from that. So we say curly braces, then percentage signs for our template tags. And we want to say extends and in single quotes, base underscore layout dot HTML. So we're extending from that. And remember, we need to add in a block because in this base layout template, we add in the block right there. So we need to specify where that block is. So again, template tags like so. And then we'll say block and call this content, which is what is expected over here, content. So we can end this block underneath by saying end block like so, and inside is gonna be the actual content that we want to put inside that base layout template. So the first thing I'll do is create a div, and this is gonna have a class of article hyphen detail. So this will surround the whole article, and it's basically for stylistic purposes. Inside that will have another div, and this will have a class of article, and again, this is for stylistic purposes. Then the different things we want to output in the article are a title, which will be a H2. So we'll add that first of all. We'll come back to this in a second. Then the body, the text of the article. And then finally, the date that it was published, which can be in a P tag as well. So first of all, we want to output the article title. So remember, we have access in this template to the article object that we send down right here, okay? So we can access that right here by doing our double curly braces tags and then output an article dot title. Remember, we're getting these properties from the model. We have a title, 
a slug, a body, and a date so far. So we can output any of those inside the template. So first of all, the title, then we'll output article.body, which is the text content of the article. And then finally, article.date. Okay, so now we're outputting all of those three things in this article details page. So if I save this and go back to this thing over here and then click on one of these, now we get the title, the body, and the date. Instead of just sending back the slug, which is pointless, now we get the whole article detail page. So there we go. That's how we can take the slug from the URL in the view. We can use that to query the database to find a particular article, send it back to a template, and then in that template, output it to the browser. So things are looking pretty good. And in the next video, what I'd like to do is show you how we can go about uploading media so that we can display images in articles as well.